next one. What? It's the next one coming up. Next one coming up. but uh, that could be the last time we see our camping gear if this fire comes through. We've got a fire just up the road. We've got a fire just up the road. We're being evacuated. We've just got back in time to pull out the other car. We've had to leave all the gear there. My bag is here, right? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's all we can do. So we're just crossing our fingers that they get this far under control. We had enough time to pull into the campsite, pick up the other car, throw some food in, and we're heading out. We did have most of the essential stuff in the car. Is this the way? And there's the fire. Is this correct? Am I on the right Yeah, road? you should be right. There's only one road out. You'll get up to where he was coming up to that. 
Yeah, out that way. They're blocking the roads here. And you can see right through the trees there, that's where the fire is. Sorry about the bad sound, I didn't have a time to throw the good mic on. Now this is, uh, you know, one of those emergency situations. We just hope that that fire stays where it is or goes north. If it comes south through the campsite, everything will go up in smoke. All no matter whether the water bombers will get that under control quickly. It's right in the boring up forest there somewhere. And you certainly don't want to get caught somewhere like this. There's only one road in and out of Conto. Now, you, you want to make double sure she's behind us. Cheers. Cheers. That's the turn off to Lakes Cave. We were hoping to go in there, but uh, <laughs> we'll see whether we get there now. For the moment, we're going to uh, head down to Augusta. And uh, all we can do there is sit down and wait and see what happens. Yeah. Just up here ahead we know the police are blocking the road north. This is Caves Road. And we're just going to turn off at Forest Glen and uh, get the hell out of here now. Hopefully We'll manage to get that under control quickly. If not, it's going to be rather nasty because there's an awful lot of forest in there to burn. It's probably about a kilometre and a half, two kilometres north of the campsite from what I can see from here. So very close. The smoke is actually affecting the sun. And here's the road blockage on Caves Road. They're stopping everybody heading north. Let's go around. Okay, well that's the excitement for the day. Uh, we could really do without that kind of shit, but uh, what can you do? Uh, these things happen. We grab the essentials and uh, all the gear. Sadly the trailer's uninsured. Where's your phone? Five phones in here. Phone, keys, wallet, yep. camera gear. <laughs> in order of importance, uh, I suppose wallet comes first. Okay, well, that's it guys. Uh, I'll get back to you a little bit later and let you know how this goes. Uh, hopefully we'll get back to the campsite and everything will be intact, but uh, we'll be stuck down in Augusta at least for the rest of the day, I would imagine. Uh, we'll just have to listen to the radio reports and see what's going on. Next time you hear from me, we'll know whether we've still got the campsite left and uh, whether any of the gear is uh, still intact. See you later.